Hey guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How are you? Hey, Corbin. Uh, if you guys have seen any of his other reviews, this is Zach to my, I think, right. I don't know how it's coming off on screen. Uh, <laughs> and this is his brother, uh, Jesse, one of his brothers. He has two others. Um, Jesse Kieslich. Uh, and they watched Andahandahan. Or how would you say it, Jesse? How do you say this film? Oh. Andahadden. <laughs> Um, so as you guys know, uh, we've, Rick and I have already reviewed this film. If you'd like to watch it, I'll link the, it down below. We watched it almost two years ago. Uh, and we famously had an argument and, uh, and kind of ruined the review. I don't know if you guys saw that review, no. <laughs> uh, but I'll tell you guys about that later. So I thought we should have a redemption review with two mm. other people who haven't seen it. Zach has seen now quite a few Indian films. Jesse, how many have you seen? Two. So this is the second one? Yeah, if you don't count Extraction. <laughs> um, the first one was what? Uh, Lunchbox? No, it was... Uh, hey, Heather. Oh, Heather. Heather. Uh, Heather. 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 Yeah. Gotcha. Excellent. Because I knew he would... I told him to watch it because I knew he would like it. Yeah. So... We're the, yeah. So we're the they, they wanted a action slash thriller. So I suggested a couple, but I especially said... Uh, it was a very popular film when it came out, and it is obviously a very unique concept uh, for a film. So, what? Go ahead, guys. What did you? What did you think of the film? Zach, go first. You go first. It, it needed more blind people. <laughs> I mean, that was my issue. Okay. No, I, I was. It was awesome. I, I really, I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was. What did I? T I thought it was original. Mm -hmm. Like it was, uh, I, I had no idea what it was about, except the little premise that it was, you know, a blind guy uh, getting into some trouble. But I didn't know all that was going into it. Yeah. Um. And so I was really surprised. And it's rare. I mean, just stuck with it. It's rare for a movie to surprise us, because yeah. we've seen almost every American movie. And so this movie, like, really, like I, I kept it kept me guessing and it kept i had no idea where it was going and what was happening and it was uh, <laughs> it was, it, was and it was it was funny it was fun um and then the ending the ending i like yeah we'll i don't get, know if you remember that thing we'll, we'll we'll get to the ending and and just a little we'll talk about it and your, and your theories behind it Wait, uh, was that was that the argument the no the argument? no the argument was extremely dumb uh it had <laughs> the reason it was an argument is because it didn't have to do with the premise of the film uh, what did what did you think of the piano playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, the it, it didn't. Rick's argument is it didn't match. So what? See, Rick, that's what I thought the whole time. <laughs> bothered me entirely. Yeah. So that was uh that was his. He he enjoyed the film, but he that we he went on about a ten minute rant just about that, and so it kind of ruined the entire <laughs> review. Uh, Jesse, what did you think of the film? So, when you told me to watch it, you just said it was a thriller. So when I started it, I was like, how is this a thriller? This is a rom -com. This is fantastic. So, but then, then things start, well then, when they introduced the uh, wife, yeah. uh, the yeah, step wife, I was like, she's a little crazy, but uh, let's see where this thing goes. And then I was hooked, you know, like, uh, like I had to pay attention because there were subtitles, so yeah. I couldn't look away. But uh, no, it was just the characters were fun, even early on. Like uh, she, you guys mentioned her when you guys were talking before. I thought her casting was awesome. Just Roddy because, Gattel, is who you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Roddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roddy. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, Roddy. And she, she's like, like beautiful, but like. Mm -hmm is human looking to have a personality and like just the first scene they introduce you know what i mean no. like sometimes people are too pretty Wait, hold on. Let, me, like, let, me, let me say what you said let me <laughs> let me repeat what you said she's beautiful but human looking yes yes exactly 
Okay. Because the fact that, you know, like when they're too pretty, they're like, they don't have a personality. They don't really oh, need so, it to get by. She I was real. She, she was authentic. Like her yeah. first okay. scene, she was yelling at the other cars and she hit uh, a cash. What's his name? The, the, the main, the, yeah, uh, Ayusha yeah. Karana. Yeah. Yeah. Him. And so I love that first introduction. Just their banter was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah she the, was really re- real. But then, like, yeah, like Zach said, <laughs> she was human. Um, but uh, like Zach said, it was twists and turns, couldn't keep it guessing. And one of the things that was cool was, one, I really love the pace. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of roles Hollywood movies have that I don't realize they've had. Mm-hmm. Uh, and some, maybe subconsciously until watching a film like this and just with the cut scenes and the pace, it quickens and slows. It was very interesting, yeah, which was, I like. This was, uh, um, I know, Zach, you've seen quite a few films now, so you might be a little more used to it. Um, but this was a, a decently lengthy film for this genre of film. Uh, I think it was like almost two and a half, right? Yeah, and that's but that's been about normal of the movies. Uh, I guess the ones you've uh, seen, yeah, that's been about normal except for Lunchbox. Um, but yeah, normally for this style of film uh, in in Hollywood, they wouldn't be two and a half hours. It'd be about an hour and a half, usually to hour right. to hour. Unless it's a Nolan yeah. film, then it would be three hours. Uh, but what did you uh, what did you think of uh, all the actors? So let's start with uh, Yushman Karana, the main guy. You go, Jesse. Yeah. Um, Talk about how human he is. <laughs> I, uh, other than not being able to see. Um, no, he, he he was great. Uh, is, uh, no, I thought I thought he was uh, witty and uh, personable for sure. And yeah, I thought he was funny. Uh, but I liked I liked that he was able because I feel like it'd be hard to just do that character mm-hmm. of uh, being. You have to make the people believe you're blind but also make them believe that you're faking it yeah um and you did a good job of that Jack? And first of all i didn't know those contacts existed uh every movie that i've seen where person where people pretend to be blind they're just like oh i'm blind not <laughs> let me put on these fake eyes that you just don't wash them you just don't wash them that was in no romantic comedy that i've seen did they have those <laughs> contacts um, I I, th- I liked him a lot. I thought he was really cool, and I thought he did it really well. And for being like the the main guy, he was very um, like he wasn't so um, like he was human. So yeah, he was yeah he was very personable and like yeah. Jesse said, and um, he did a great job of balancing that. that I'm fake. I'm pretending, and um, but then I also ha- and then when he is blind, it's like oh you're you're he's legit blind. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he—he's actually famous for doing um, really unique films. Actually, uh, he—he's really okay. uh, picky with his choice. So, like, he's done a film about a a semen donor before. He's done <laughs> so he—he he has all these very unique very uh, concepts for films that he usually likes to choose. Uh, and so he's—I—I I, I like him because he's one. He's a good actor. Article 15 is a good one if you like to get into him as well. Okay, I saw that. um, that's on my list. But it's more of a serious style of film than 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 this one is in terms of like it's about a, something real and awful that happened. Um, but yeah, but is your favorite Jesse also uh, Radhika Apta or, or? Yeah, uh, I have to think about everyone. It's probably her. She caught my attention the most. Uh-huh. Uh, if not her, then I loved. Her. I loved her. But I, I really like Taboo. Uh, yeah. um, You've seen a ton I, of Taboo I already. already. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to think. So I've seen about seven, or I'm on my seventh. Gotcha. Uh, uh, and Who's that? Okay, it's... She's the mom. Uh, the oh, okay. She was also, she was also in uh She was uh, uh, Hater's. Hater's mom. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. So I think I've seen... So I think about seven. I think five of those Irfan <clears throat> Khan were in, and... <laughs> Four of those taboo were in. Yeah. Um, Radhika Apte is my favorite actress in India. I think she's phenomenal. Uh, she's criminally underrated. She's not like um, in terms of like a, I don't, what films have you seen so far? She's not like, I would say a star. She's famous and she's well known and she's well respected and she's in a lot of stuff. 
Um, but she's not like a, a massive, massive name. Um, okay. So I, I feel she's criminally underrated name. for how good she is. Um, so yeah, she's one of my favorite. But let's get to my favorite parts of the film, which is the ending. Uh, and so what do you think actually happened at the end? Go. Who wants to start? I don't know who wants to start. Zach. Okay. I re I re I rewatched that scene. Mm -hmm. I kept going back and going back. And the first time it was like, oh, he saw that. The second time I was like, maybe he did it. But uh, then the third time I was like, but that was very specific. He, yeah. he stopped. I don't know. I I think he I think he saw. It. I do. Yeah. I do. And I think that was such a cool ending. <laughs> Uh, I, I like I, I like verbally was like I laughed and I was like oh my goodness and I had to rewind Jesse? it. So <laughs> I the movie you didn't finished the movie. No, no, I finished. <laughs> <clears throat> what happened? Uh, nothing. <laughs> um, okay. Um, no, but uh, my, I I had to rewatch it because I I was turned away and then I saw credits and I was like oh what happened and then I watched it. <laughs> okay. uh, but no, it's definitely real. The the uh, I think so. He he saw. Oh, I think he, he, he could see. I yeah. think this uh, the story of how she died is yeah. fake. Yeah. Because that bunny wasn't real. Who was the guy? She, there's no story to that. Um, and that he did take her eyes. Yeah. So like I felt like that whole thing That's, was. I didn't, yeah. I did have a question because his cane had a bunny on it. Yes. So unless, he, unless he talked to the hunter, how the hell did he know <laughs> that the bunny was even there? Yeah. Uh, it looked just like the bunny. That was one of my f uh, obviously biggest questions was, is he blind? Was he ever blind? Uh, did he uh, take Did he take those eyes? <laughs> did he see anything? Uh, and also the story of the bunny, I didn't like unless that story is not real. That's uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I yes. was hoping. I thought that bunny was just a story he was telling somebody, just like he goes and, from town to town, telling telling different yes. stories and different cons. So what do you what do you, what do you think? I could buy that. Well, the bunny was terribly animated, which could be mm. just the budget. Yeah. But part of me was like, um, maybe I thought it was Kangaroo Jack. Look <laughs> 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 at Kangaroo Jack for a second. Uh, but part of me was like they didn't care for it to, or wanted to make sure that it looked fake because the story was. Mm. Also, was the bunny blind? <laughs> it no, did. I'm serious. Yeah. I think uh, the blood the was eyes it. Looked eyes looked glassy, and he oh. ran into before he got shot. He ran into um, oh. a stone or something. So I oh. thought it was like a big oh. analogy. The bunny represents so him. That's why he had the the cane. Interesting. Yeah. So that's the, right when in the beginning, since I knew it was about a blind person, when I saw that, I was like, oh, it's an analogy. But I didn't know that the bunny was going to be tied into the story. So I think you might be onto something, little brother. Yeah, I do think he was blind for that short section. Oh, oh no, when she took it, when she hurt yeah. his eyes. Yeah, I do think he was blind there. But the whole doctor thing, that was crazy. That's what it really twisted for me. I was like, who are these guys? The yeah, it was a whole other story. I'm like, that would, how is kidney? He has to worry about a kidney? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was like, that's not even connected. This is, this is outrageous. Well, like, crazy. This, this premise and the storyline, I'm like, why hasn't this been done before? Because it's such a unique spin yeah. on, like, I mean, we've seen tons of blind. Yeah. I mean... Ray Charles, I know that's a real story, but I mean, hey, it's another you know, blind story. Yeah. And then we got Stevie Wonder, but there's like a lot of blind Stevie movies. Wonder. Sure. But this was like the most, <laughs> most original. <laughs> I don't think Daredevil. we got blind movies. We got Daredevil. Uh -huh. Daredevil. Um, go on. Uh, there was a movie with Jet Li where he was blind. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Book of Eli. Book of Eli, he was blind yes. the entire time. Yeah, that's, that's my that's favorite Christian movie. <laughs> that's my favorite American blind movie. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah I think they Charles, could definitely the guys a real life. I think this guy. Yeah. Could, I think this I could definitely be uh, remade in Hollywood. Uh, so if, I was going to bring. Does that, that bother you or excite you? Oh, I don't. I mean, I, they. They've done it quite a few times. They've taken either from Indian films or Indian films have actually remade a ton of uh, Hollywood films as well. 
Uh, so it's it doesn't bother me as long as they do it justice. I would prefer they, they kind of keep the actors uh, a lot of times. Well, there's some movies, so watching these, uh, I always think, I'm like, could they redo this? A lot of the movies I've seen, I don't think they could. Yeah. The only thing I would like is like if they can speak English, just because I know how people are. They're not gonna. My dad is. Like, I don't want to read. Uh, they, <laughs> a lot of people are gonna feel like that. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, like anything with Irfan Khan, you got to keep. I mean, yeah. unfortunately, you can't anymore. But you got to keep this movie. I loved everyone in it. I love the actors, but I could definitely see this being. I mean, recreated and and, and, and made. sometimes stories. Act. Yeah, but sometimes stories I don't want them to be drowned by big stars. Yeah, that sometimes it takes away from the the depth yeah, and, and the we'll greatness. Get of the world. We'll get Corbin. Yeah, we'll get Corbin. Oh, sweet. Have Good. You practicing Corbin? Yeah, I can, we're casting uh, you. Have you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a piano, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You, have to play. you don't have to really do it. It's okay. <laughs> so you guys, There's, you guys did enjoy the film, though, right? Oh, we loved a it. A lot. Yeah. It was awesome. There's, there's been a few of these where I'm like, I can rewatch these. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, what's your, what's your, what's your, what's your favorite so far, Zach? And, and Jesse, you've seen two, so what's your favorite? <laughs> this was my favorite. <laughs> really? Over, over Heather? Yeah. yeah Heather? Sure. What do I use? I have to be confused with Heathers, which is a movie about which. <laughs> that's scary. Um, oh, that's hard because uh, I've liked a lot. Um, this movie was really entertaining. It was really fun. Um, Heather was really well done. And that's what I have to say. Watching these movies, what I, the, specifically the seven movies that I've watched so far, all of them, like, the writing is excellent. The, and I have to really focus on the writing because uh, I have to really it. focus on the writing because I'm, I'm, I'm reading it. Yeah. So, but that's that's excellent. The acting is real, is incredible. And then the um, transitions, like the way they transition to scene after scene, yeah. is like so clever. Like when, like yeah. they're cutting something, and then it goes on to them cutting something else, and it's just like, like seamless. It's just beautiful, and so I love that about the movies. But what's my favorite? I want to say, hey, I really love that movie. Really, that was yeah, that was, that was one of my favorites too. I love that film. It was. It was cinematography was was brilliant. The acting was fantastic. The music, the score, and Jesse, me and you are big fans of John Williams, and a lot of our favorite movies are oh, the yes. composing. So the director of Hey the Header is a composer, and so he's seeing and he composed the movie, and so he's seeing oh. his directing through the lens of you know music, and so it just fits. It just, well, and he definitely a, saw well, that when. Shere Khan showed up. Shere Khan. Yeah. yeah. Khan. No. Shere Khan. <laughs> Khan. Uh, Khan. Yeah, when he, he showed up, definitely saw that. I love that. The the only re reason I think I liked uh, and because had the only Hamlet movie you've seen is Lion King. Is Lion King, and yeah. you're like Lion King's the best. Oh, this has nothing to do with Lion. <laughs> no. King. no, it's the fact that I, Anne Haddon was good the entire time and gripped me. The hater, the first. Like forty five minutes, mm. I had to try to focus. A little slow. But then once gotcha. they, yeah, yeah. But once Erpacon er showed up and they explained things, I was hooked. You know, yeah. and then he, when he buzzed his head, mm. uh, that was awesome. That's true. Because I and I, I actually saw Corbin's uh, interpretation of that scene before I saw. Him. Oh, you, you did? did that scene? Yeah, I did. <laughs> the buzz. The... <laughs> yeah, I buzzed the my head. head. Yeah, I it wasn't a bald cap at all. Uh, well, <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. It's one of my favorite. Yeah, I think it's one of the most original screenplays yes. I've seen uh, in, in Hollywood or even in Indian cinema, uh, for sure. So we have to figure out which we want you to watch. What do you uh, What do you want to watch next? There, uh, Dude, I'm going. I'm going rogue. So don't don't. Ask I know. Me. I'm going I rogue. Know. I'm doing my own. Recommend Zach. I, I, the next one I was gonna watch was Lunchbox, but Jesse, oh, Lunchbox is knowing great. you, I'll have Corbin recommend because he's you know a pro at this. But knowing you and the movies that I've seen, you would love McBool. It, yeah. it is a little slow, uh, um, but it's very Godfatherish. Yeah. Um, and Irfan Irfan Khan's the main. He's Mc, it's oh, Macbeth, cool. so he's Macbeth. Or if you so want to watch a, movie. A, a series, go watch Misa Parada yes. on Prime. Okay. Okay. That's Jesse, gonna... I'm finally. 
I'm finding movies. I found some action movies on here. I haven't watched them. They look <laughs> they look at? terrible. So there's this movie called Saho. I haven't Saho? Uh, oh yeah, I haven't seen it yet. So there's a lot of them where they look a little cheesy. Me and Jesse, I mean our brothers, we grew up watching very cheesy action movies. If, so I feel like we would like these. If you'd like to see they a bunch serious. of uh, a kind of not great story yeah. and not great acting, but great uh action, the film that's called War. Oh, okay. Or I think I saw or that. a military I one, which is it, actually but... really good. Uh, it was about a military um, strike. It's called URI. Uh, it's U R I. It's about a uh, special okay. special operation that was India to Pakistan uh, operation. It it was oh, really okay. really good. If you like military movies, you're gonna enjoy it. There was one that you guys, there was a trailer, what was it, Master or something that you guys just uh, released watching? It, yeah, we haven't seen it yet. It just came out on Amazon. Okay. It's a new film. Okay. You see it? All right. Let me know how that is. Yeah, I, I saw it. I, can, I could give you a recommend. We've almost watched 200 films, so I could, there's a ton I could recommend. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, on the list, like, I'm looking at Amazon and Netflix because those are free. A lot yeah. of the other ones that you've given me, I have to like rent or something. But I did, um, uh, Great Indian Kitchen. You did? Yeah. It was. It made you mad, right? <laughs> it, it's so mad. <laughs> but it's like, so I, good. I, was, I would take. It was really. It was well done. It was really good. There's parts that made me laugh, but the whole time I was just like, poor, poor yeah. girl. Yeah, and you just feel so bad I, and I, so I would, angry. I, I, I talked to Am- I would talk to Amber about it and explain to her. But then I find myself I'm a very helpful husband. I mean it's a partnership, but I find yeah. myself doing extra yeah. after watching this movie and like <laughs> I don't want to be like that. I'll do anything. Well, we will have to have you guys on. Let us know uh, in the comments which film they should watch next. Jesse really likes action films. Zach I think likes everything. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I want an Indian Bruce Willis. Yes. Indian Bruce Willis? Yes. I mean, it might be Salman Khan, honestly. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Chaka Khan? Is that what you said? Yes. Chaka Khan. <laughs>